At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three.
Stop announcement. We've just cured our very first patient. Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel.
Statistics is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money.
now bring you this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffles Tristes. And what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I give it four salt shakers.
Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. Shine, everyone. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down at Grog Ben's Ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. It should all work out nicely.
Trouble making ends meet. <laughs> Need some extra dough. Call Smell My Cash. Because an 80% interest repayment rate is nothing to sniff at. Smell My Cash. <sighs> the desperate solution. More two point, more often. This is Two Point Radio.
Litterers will take the place of their rubbish in the bin. If ever you have found yourself at a loss as to the correct usage of the English language, you may enjoy my popular guide to good grammar, a public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I would do one to proper enunciation as well, but I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. I have only one word to say to you today. Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be worn at all times. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Take heed, dear listeners. Patients should seem less sick and more cured during the health inspector's visit. 
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne bringing talk, music and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy!
I've been humming that tune to myself all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. Or have I? Oh well, more catchy music coming right up.
Back to med school for the senior doctor who's forgotten everything he knows. I don't know what to do. He wants to learn medicine. Boss. But he needs to learn about himself. Dad! Roderick Cushion is Dr. Roderick Cushion in Backwards, the show that everybody's hearing about. New episodes every week on Bundle Pictures. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. In the news today, conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Apparently, patients are just as likely to die from sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as any diseases. At least that'll keep the queues down.
investment, bins will become full. What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait, the sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. Reporter Sally Fig Blanket has been out recording a new segment on Two Point County's hospitals. I've never actually seen any of her pieces, but I'm told they're very good indeed. 
Keep up the sterling work, Sully. Warm greeting to you all this fine morning, especially those of you in f
went to a holistics nature commune last week to see what they could do about my gravy allergy. They recommended a long stay at their spa and a bottle of rosemary extract. It cost me a month's wages, but I'm finally starting to feel the effects. Still can't eat gravy though. Only Jumbo Medical Solutions guarantees that you die anywhere else. <laughs> we take Jumbo Card, Jumbo Mega Card, and Jumbo Plus members are eligible for experimental treatments. <laughs> Jumbo Medical Solutions. Fork it over. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
In today's headlines, lottery winner Arthur Compass has announced winning the jackpot hasn't changed him one bit. He made this announcement floating over Krogenbusch in his new gold-plated hovercraft. Just
into Harrison Wolf, the lone voice of reason, ready to spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears and get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. Thank you. 
lives. I've tried hypnotizing myself with pendulums and pocket watches, but I find listening to my own voice works best. I say one thing and then another thing. And I say one thing and then another thing. It's possible you're now hypnotized too. And so another day begins.
There's nothing like a burp. And now, burp soda comes in three new flavors. With 23% more fizz. Open your mouth and have a burp. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
looks like the healthcare branch of the holistics company, known to some as hemp, is in trouble again. Apparently, Elixir, the latest product which claims to cure all ills, is in fact nothing but pine-scented prune juice. Well, I guess it should cure one ill at least. and wolf on two point radio i went to the cirque de parfait recently i was impressed by how experimental the acts were till i realized it was facing the wrong way and just looking at the tent wall
this next song is for all the hospital patients shaken up by that earthquake. Hope all your internal organs are still in the right place. Hospital had a visit from Augustus Lavender, the holistic CEO today, but I'm not sure anybody wants an emergency aromatherapy ward.
therapist says I need to relax more. Find a hobby. If you have any suggestions, please send them in. I'll keep you posted on how my search goes. Anything's better than my last hobby. Collecting traffic cones. After four rudderless years, Two Point County has never been in greater need of strong leadership. So vote for four more years of Tabitha Winsock in the mayoral elections. Tabitha Winsock, wrong but stable. Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio.
Chill Point Radio's roving reporter Sally Fig Blanket visited some local hospitals for her latest piece. And you'll be able to enjoy it just as soon as we figure out how to show it to you over a radio set. fifth caller today will win tickets to the rock festival taking place next month. I admire a station manager's optimism. The most callers we've ever had in a day was six. Two of them were wrong numbers.
Why is it whenever you clip your nails in front of a computer, one of the nails always flies into the cracks of your keyboard? Does the keyboard feed on them? I don't know. No one knows. Warning, backbreak imminent. Hello to all my faithful listeners out there. This is Ricky Hawthorne, ready to pour another jar of good old-fashioned honey into your ears. And remember, the honey I'm referring to here is my voice. There's no need to panic and call in to complain like last time.
you believe it? A tree came crushing through my conservatory last night. Well, no sense dwelling on the past, and the place does look greener now. Here's a nice song to celebrate. After four rudderless years, Two Point County has never been in greater need of strong leadership. So vote for four more years of Tabitha Winsock in the mayoral elections. Tabitha Winsock, wrong but stable. Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio.
assistance needed in staff room. Report released today claims that Two Point County has the best medical coverage in the country. And while it does say it can't vouch for what goes on in the Orb Wellness Centers, they're sure those are top notch too. That's good enough for me. is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Would you believe it? Old Henry Jobsworth, the local health and safety inspector, is threatening to close down Merry Dunk Farm. Apparently the place is infested with cows, pigs and chickens. Steady on, Henry. Maintenance needed in staff room. Thank you. 
Now the news. A dangerous animal has escaped from Grockle Bay Zoo, though the authorities have yet to reveal what species. Rumor has it that it's a nine-foot half tiger, half rhino, with a big appetite. And just think, you won't need to buy a ticket to see it. for a product with which to clean your hair, we at Justa would like to ask that you consider our shampoo. Yeah, all right. Just a shampoo. It'll clean your hair, but it won't change your life. Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio.
automated snack machines need restocking manually. I've been informed that the local library is implementing a new policy this week. Head librarian Penelope Staffage, tired of so many people forgetting to return books, is threatening to sneak into our homes at night and recover any overdue volumes while we sleep. So if you find your breakfast cereals arranged alphabetically and shelved by fiber content, don't be alarmed. It's just old Penelope doing her job. We're close to award season.
prosecuting themselves. Some alarming reports of an earthquake causing considerable damage to a local hospital. Hope nobody broke anything, but if you did, at least you're in the right place for it. you to all think of a butterfly sleepily waving its colorful wings. Isn't that a lovely image? Meanwhile, in the news today, the mayor has announced a 100% increase in our taxes.
Listening to Two Point Radio with your resident weirdo, Harrison Wolf. Stay tuned for some great music. You never know, we might get lucky. stare into empty space and just ponder the mysteries of the universe? Like, how many planets out there support life? And what's another word for thesaurus? 
More existential questions after this. from a patient in a local hospital who says they just had an earthquake. Either that or their experimental treatments are getting out of hand.
collect, trade and snack with Morsel Man. Awesome. Who will you find? Little Susie Salt. Oh, Bacon Dad. Whoa. The Reverend Cheddar. Can I get an amen? Amen. Morsel Man. A handful of flavour. A mouthful of fun. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. and safety inspector Henry Jobsworth was seen checking into the Shore Thing Hotel in Grockle Bay yesterday. He was then seen running out and screaming this morning. Sounds about right. Thank you. 
windows, the toilets provided. Point Radio. Is it just me or are the pointy mountains getting less pointy? We should raise some money and get them sharpened. I mean, who wants to live in the shadow of blunt mountains? We're close to award season. Thank you. 
still says I need to find a hobby, so I decided to try whittling. Ever sat down with a small knife and a piece of wood? It's a very fulfilling experience, but how many stakes does one man need? The search continues.
Only Jumbo Medical Solutions guarantees that you die anywhere else. <laughs> we take Jumbo Card, Jumbo Mega Card, and Jumbo Plus members are eligible for experimental treatments. <laughs> Jumbo Medical Solutions. Fork it over. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Anywhere in the hospital will not be 
Our marketing director, Stacy, went to a holistics nature commune to have her appendix removed, but all they had was tree surgeons. She'll need to visit a real hospital, but at least her hair has been nicely pruned. Oh, would you believe a patient is storming out? get weird for you hearing this voice coming out of nowhere every few minutes but don't worry I'm not inside your head I'm just inside your radio that's where the music lives too music like this
place does not belong in the corridors. Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Fear not, faithful listeners. Your favorite radio personality, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, is back. 
As much as I would like to quit this infernal booth forever, I just cannot deprive you of my wit. I take the responsibility of being your only source of intellectual stimulation very seriously indeed. More instantly forgettable melodies coming up next. I'm delighted to say I will be giving a lecture at our local university on the topic of pretentiousness, namely how to do it correctly. Perhaps my contribution will put a halt to the alarming decline in educational standards in our community.
should leave the hospital before they catch something else. Crumley Mega Market. Crumley Fishmongers. We sell some of the fish you recognize. Nice. And some you don't. Oh, gross. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio.
listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. The Orb Foundation's healthcare division is nothing but a load of hocus pocus hogwash, if you ask me. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to see the only thing they're good at is brain watching. And now for Sir Nigel Reviews, in which Sir Nigel reviews the new fitness center in Lower Bullocks, the Steel Buns Gym. I spent a very pleasant afternoon in the sauna, but did not care for the smells as one walks down the corridor. In short, I would stick with the perspiration spa in Grockle Bay.
I don't mind telling you it's a bit nippy in the booth today. The heater is malfunctioning and the window is stuck in an open position. I have no choice but to engage in vigorous exercise. Now, if you'll excuse me. Tired of hearing all the good things going on in the world? Sick of cheery headlines and positive articles? Then read the Daily Sneer, because good news is bad news. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
I have discovered the heater had been jammed with sodium snacks. No wonder it ceased to function. I suspect this is the work of that unhygienic anarchist, Harrison Wolf. Words will be had, I assure you. and Wolf, and welcome to Two Point Radio for a special show presented by Bungle Kids. Listen to some music while I find out where that noise is coming from. End of year approaching. Doctor required in psychiatry.
It's the Wolfman coming at you with some kid-friendly content here on Two Point Radio. So here's some insidious advertising for the under 10s. Cheesy Gubbins contains as much milk as milk. That doesn't sound right, but they don't care, do they? for my earliest and fondest memory of cartoons. I remember that I used to get up early, head downstairs, and sit on the floor to watch a cast of wacky characters. All love and abstract shapes. Sure, they had their obstacles and their mishaps, but they always stuck together 
It was years later that I found out the young wolf was watching Static. One man's white noise is another man's entertainment. Remember that. After four rudderless years, Two Point County has never been in greater need of strong leadership. So vote for four more years of Tabitha Winsock in the mayoral elections. Tabitha Winsock, wrong but stable. Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio. Thank you. 
pharmacy. Bungle Kids is full of wonderful entertainment for all ages, but also lessons for all ages. I believe the word is parable. Hey, that's fun to say. Parable. 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 What I've learned today is that it's fun to say parable. 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 Herbal. Patients for psychiatry on the way.
This is fun. We've got a message from a little Jiminy Brown Shorts. Let's see what he's got to say. Dear Harrison, what did you want to be when you were little? Well, Jiminy, when I was little, I wanted to be a lighthouse keeper. Now those guys know what's going on. Unfortunately, I was never good with stairs.
Uncle Kits has given me the privilege of announcing the newest character slash snack to join the Morsel Men family. <sighs> Introducing Sean Cocktail. I'm not sure I understand this announcement or what's happening, but I can hardly contain my excitement all the same. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Rodrigue Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Spandex 5, a stretch too far. This is Two Point Radio. End of year approaching.
That's it from me, but remember to tune into Bungle Kits tomorrow where it's back to back bureaucrats all day long. If you've not seen it before, I encourage you to give it a try. No one's too old for cartoons, man. And this one's colorful, real funny, and also contains lots of great legal advice. It's helped me out on more than one occasion.
Point Radio. Greetings and congratulations for joining me on this, the finest day of the year, the day of my birth. Needless to say, today's show will honor the man of the hour, the heartbeat of this county, and the crown jewel of Two Point Radio. Me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I cannot help but think back to those birthdays of yesteryear and the sepia days of my youth. Breaking in a freshly opened hoop and stick, my sister swallowing her favorite marble, roughhousing in the parlor, the air thick with the smell of Mama's spotted dick. Ah, those are some of my favorites. Do get in touch to let us know which of my memories is your favorite. <laughs>
Sinister is arriving. In today's Sir Nigel Reviews, I will be reviewing birthday candles from Wickwalk, Flemington's premier vendor of candles and East Asian culinary equipment. Light, true, burn, persistent, aroma not unfragrant. All in all, an admirable effort. This advertisement has been removed due to a dispute between Two Point Radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh wait, hang on, it shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Can we do another, can we do another take? Okay, great. This is Two Point Radio.
listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I have a message from Jerry who says, Hello, Nigel. Happy birthday. My name is Jerry. I am five years old. How many years old are you? How dreadfully adorable. Hello, Jerry. Thank you for your well wishes. Unfortunately, I don't answer such uncouth questions. Right, today's show has been. I can only hope that it pales in comparison to the real deal this time next month. Here's hoping that you enjoyed today's trial run. Ta ta!
a bag, grab a fork, and don't forget your eating shoes, because you're coming on a trip with Chef Ricky. Yes, it's me, Ricky Hawthorne, and today I'll be taking your taste buds all over Two Point County and talking about some of my most favorite comestible experiences.
Flemington area is renowned for its traditional oyster stews. Unfortunately, the guide I was using was maybe a little too traditional, as the restaurant I had planned to visit moved 35 years ago. Luckily, the petrol station now at that site sold a really memorable version of that fishiest of concoctions. It just goes to show, you don't have to be picky when it comes to seafood. It's all good.
approaching. If you're feeling ill, the last thing you want to do is pump your body full of cheap artificial medicine. So stay at a Holistics Hospital, where our natural remedies are so expensive, they just have to be good for you. Holistics, where you can only hope it sticks. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
This is Alan Dongle with today's Tech Report. A hospital has just invented a chromotherapy room, giving hope to those afflicted with grey anatomy. Remember, when it comes to medical treatments, it's not all black and white. And no to hog sport, and one of my favourite spots, the oily cormorant. You must try their rendition of the region's kidney and kidney pie, made popular, of course, during the steak drought of 1823. I'll also recommend trying their famous linseed aioli, mixed in barrels made of recycled cricket bats. What can I say about Flemington? 
with its beautiful... Do you believe...
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I'm sure you've heard of smoking food, but have you heard of smogging food? It's all the rage down in, you guessed it, smogly. While it may be an acquired taste, if I've learned anything about food over the years, it's that acquired tastes are always the fanciest, and therefore the best. The Grockle Bay Bug, that ten-legged wonder, the crown jewel of our county's waters. There's something so captivating about a crustacean that you can share amongst a table of five. The shells are incredibly useful, of course. I have one at my home that I use as a rather tasteful fruit bowl. Thank you. 
Today's sponsor is Rent an Eel. Rent an Eel for all of your short term eel based needs. This is Two Point Radio. Let's talk about the Cirque du Parfait and its namesake, Semi Solid. I wouldn't recommend eating anything but when you're there, not least to avoid disparaging looks from the patrons if you're seen eating anything with a discernible texture. It's a special moment for any Quenchian child to select the spoon and head to the flavor gazebo to make that first order. Mine was half pistachio, half liver and onions. You never forget.
To finish our trip, I'd like to talk about vegetables from the southeast of our beautiful county, a region I've not yet visited. Though through my contacts in the green grossing community, I've started sourcing carrots as big as a leg and as sweet as you like. Sensational! If I knew any better, I'd say they were designed rather than grown. <laughs> Kudos to the farmers down in Camouflage Falls. Harrison Wolf here on Two Point Radio. Remember, I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to entertain myself.
automated snack machines need restocking manually. You're listening to Harrison Wolf. I don't know what my time traveling future self is up to, but my arm just disappeared.
Today's sponsor is Rent an Eel. Rent an Eel for all of your short term eel based needs. This is Two Point Radio. Two Point Radio's roving reporter Sally Fig Blanket visited some local hospitals for her latest piece. And you'll be able to enjoy it just as soon as we figure out how to show it to you over a radio set.